Hey guys, welcome back to NBA 2K Chutes for my first NBA 2K20 in-game tutorials. Today we're doing the James Harden double step back move. If it's done right, this move can be really so explosive, you can really create a lot of space and it can be used against CPU and most especially on park modes. I'll divide this tutorial into two parts. First is how to do it and second is how to use it in the real game. So without further ado, let's get into this one. Basically, it's just going to a particular direction and quickly tapping square button to execute the step back move and pressing the square button again to take the shot. If you don't press the square button to take the shot, it will end up as a hasty dribble move. It looks easy but it's not simple as it sounds. This move is sometimes inconsistent and can be so frustrating sometimes and sometimes you'll do some other step backs or sometimes you'll do some other pump fake so I'll give you some key points on how to be more consistent in this move. I tried this move a lot of times and so far I had more success when I follow these things. First is where do we tap that square button? I usually tap it on that green area and I try to avoid the red area and tapping must be really quick, like quicker than a pump fake. Next is in what direction are we pointing that left stick? So orange arrows represents the direction we're going to, it doesn't matter if you press the turbo button or not. Then if you go too close to the basket, it will end up as a hop step towards the rim. There is a misconception here. Some guys say that you need to point that left stick to where the rim is and it's wrong. In this move, I pointed the left stick away to the basket and I was able to do it. It just happens that going to the rim is a good angle, that's why pointing to the rim is one way. We just need to find a specific angle for us to pull up this move. This move really takes a lot of practice to be more consistent, so don't be frustrated if you can't do it in your first tries. It's normal. And I'll show you guys some other plays. Now we go to the second part. First thing you need to remember when doing this move is don't force it. Don't try so hard that you take super long shots or contested shots. If you didn't create the space you want, don't take the shot. So what you need to do is after that second step back, analyze the situation. If you have enough space and you're not too far from the basket, take the shot. And if your defender is still close or you're too far from the basket, just use it as a blow by dribble move. In this play, defender managed to catch up so I used it to freeze him, then went to another direction to take the mid-range J. Another play, I did a step back and I was too far from the basket so what I did is I exploded to the basket instead. Now in the next play, not too far from the basket, decent space between the defender so I took the shot. Next one, that's a huge gap, not too far from the basket so I took the shot. Just keep on practicing, I recommend to just practice a lot first in 2KU to the extent that you can pull off 2 consecutive ones in a good rate because sometimes it's just luck. So practice a lot first before you move to the real game. So that's it for this tutorial, hope you guys learned something and if you liked the video, please click that like button to show support to my new channel and I'll be making a lot of these kinds of tutorials so don't forget to subscribe to tune in for these videos and happy gaming guys!